Hey guys and welcome back to another Unregined 4 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be doing is creating a snow system which you can see here. So it's now going to be snowing in our game and we're going to be doing this via the Niagara visual effects system which is nice and efficient and looks absolutely great as you can see here. And this is very easy to customize and change to get it perfect for you. So we can have some nice calm snow or I'll also show you how to create a really harsh blizzard snow as well. So obviously I'll hit play and walk around a bit so you can see what it looks like in game. So we can walk around and as you can see we've got all the snow particles falling here. Again very easy to change and customize for you. So this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to create the Niagara system which you can do by right clicking going to FX then we want to create Niagara emitter sorry not Niagara system and if you don't have this here then you're going to go to edit plugins built in and search for Niagara. It should be enabled by default in the more later engine versions, but if you're using an earlier engine version, then you will have to manually enable it here. So we're going to close this, right click, effects, Niagara emitter, and what we're going to do is choose a new emitter from a template, go to next, and we're going to be using the fountain, which is a looping fountain spray, which is kind of similar to snow as it's going to be pushing down. We're obviously just going to change it to not be pushing up, but pushing down instead. Finish that. And I'm going to name this Snow NE for Niagara Emitter, opening that up like this. And you'll see this is what we have at the moment. So we have the fountain of water essentially spraying up and then coming back down as gravity has taken hold of it. And obviously we want to change this because this isn't how snow works. It doesn't go up then down, it just goes down. And this is obviously very close together, very fast, doesn't look too great. So we have the basic aspect there of snow with the basic looks, but we want to change it. So what we're going to do is select the snow any in the middle here and we will then be able to select and change all the things we want. The first thing I want to change is I want to change which direction it's going in. So we don't want it to go up, we just want it to go down. So to do that, what we're going to do is we want to find the velocity, which is, should be under particle spawn down here. There's a lot of stuff to search for, so sometimes it's easier to just search for it, which I am actually going to do. So what we're going to do is search for velocity and we want the velocity strength and that there is here so the minimum I'm going to go as minus 1000 and the maximum I'm going to have as minus 850 so just minus what it is at the moment and you can see now it's going straight down like that instead of going up you can obviously change these to get them different for you but that's what I'm going to go with you'll see it's still very fast but we're going to get to that later on the cone angle I'm also going to change let's say 45 instead of 18 just so it's a bit more widespread like this. So we've got minus 1000, minus 850, 45. That now makes it stop looking like a fountain and something which is just being pushed straight down. But you'll notice it's still just in a very compact space, which obviously we do not want. So to fix that, what we can do is change the sphere radius here. So the radius at the moment is just that one tiny spot there. We want to obviously make it massive. So at the moment it's eight. I'm gonna increase this to something a lot bigger. So let's say 4000 or let's say 5,000. Now obviously you're gonna to want to make this bigger the bigger your map is. So if you've got a massive map, make this a bigger number. If you've got a tiny map, make it a smaller number. And obviously it will just take some trial and error to get the perfect values for you. But you'll notice that as we increase the radius, that's obviously made them way more spread out. So we now have barely any here, you can hardly see any. So what we're gonna do is just increase the amount being spawned in. So the spawn rate here is 100. I'm gonna set this to just the same as my radius so 5,000, and you'll see that that already looks a lot better. Now, if you want more blizzardy weather, what you might do is increase this to let's say 10,000, and we're gonna be getting a lot more. So that's double the radius, so we're getting a lot more at once, but I'm just gonna leave it at 5,000. So now let's figure out the speed, because again, you'll notice this is very quick at the moment. And obviously, if you know anything about snow, it falls nice and graciously, majestically, and slowly. So let's scroll down until we find the gravity, which should be somewhere here. Here we go, gravity force. And it's minus 980 by default, as that is normal gravity anyway. But again, obviously this acts different. So this would be good for rain, but for snow, we want it to be slightly different. So I'm going to set it to minus 25, which is nice and slowly. You might even want to go a bit slower than that, so maybe minus 15. Obviously, just change it to what you think looks best for you, and obviously your conditions in your game. So again, if you want it to be heavier snow, you'll want it falling more quickly, or if it's very light, you'll want it to fall a lot slower. So the next thing we want to do is we also want to make sure that this is lasting a little bit longer. So you'll notice they're just going to die immediately. 
we want them to last slightly longer just so they have the chance of reaching the floor. So that should be under lifetime, which I'm just going to search for again so I don't have to look through all of this stuff. So it should be under lifetime. There we go. Uh, minimum is 1.65, maximum is 2 by default. I'm going to set it to be minimum of 10 and maximum of 15, and that's obviously in seconds. So again, you can obviously change that to be whatever you like, but I think that's good for me. And you'll see here that already looks a lot better in the preview on the left. And the last thing I'm going to do now is I want to change the size because it doesn't look like it at the moment, but these are actually very, very big. So what we're going to search for is sprite size. And we want to tick this so we can change it and just lower these values to what we like. So I got six and six for me. Obviously I make them spherical so it's equal on the X and Y. But again, choose what you want. So we could maybe again, for a blizzard, I, I keep using this example, but it's good. So you've got calm and blizzardy. Blizzard, you might want them to be bigger, falling faster, falling quicker, and a lot more of them as well. But if we were to compile and save that, that is pretty much all we need to do done. So this is the basic part of Snow setup. And obviously, as you can see here, there are so many different options for you to really customize this and get it looking how you want and perfect for you. And obviously you can change the material as well. So if you have your own snow material, too, you can use that. But for me, the basic part is going to be done here. And I think that's going to be good. So let me close this. But you'll notice we can't just drag that in. That doesn't work. What we need to actually do is, let me delete these old ones I used before, is we need to right click on this and just simply create Niagara system and then just drag that in and you'll see this should be working, although it isn't for some strange reason. So let me, s oh no it was, it was just taking a while to load, sorry. So there we go, it's now working. You'll see we have snow in our game and that looks absolutely beautiful. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we have now created a snow system inside of Unreal Engine 4 using the new Niagara Particle system. Well I say new, it's not that new, but it's the newest version. And again, I think this looks absolutely great. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.